Usually, graduation is a weight off the shoulders, but for some international students at Lindenwood University, it comes with new worries. I spoke with a few students who shared the struggles they face in keeping their visas after graduation. After four years of living and studying in the U.S., most international students come to think of it as a second home. Like all students, they spend their four years building a network of close friends and professional relationships. For example, in the production of LUTV's own Spanish-language newscast. But that's why, for these students, graduation may actually pose a problem. When they're no longer students, they can no longer use their student visas. It's not just like, oh, I found a job, I'm going to stay here and work, you know? Associate Director Jeff Harris at Lindenwood's Office of International Students explains. Um, international students are eligible for a 12-month work authorization at the completion of their studies and they can apply for that 90 days prior to the end of their program. That work authorization is Optional Practical Training, or OPT. The OPT, like the job for their permanent visa, must be within their field of study. If nothing within their field of study can be found, the student residents will be forced to return home, even if other jobs are available. The building I'm standing in front of right now is the Robert A. Young Federal Building. This is where all of the international students' OPTs and other applications to stay in the U.S. are sent for evaluation. But the approval of the immigration office still isn't the last step in securing a full work visa. Even if they find a potential job in their field, the employer can't hire them without interceding with the immigration office on their behalf. We still have the opportunity to try to work, but then to get a job in the long term, you have to be sponsored and like many companies don't want to sponsor you because it's so expensive. You get the interview and then the company has to decide if they're going to pay for your staying, not for, for where you're going to stay, but if they're going to pay for the visa because they have to sponsor you. With the risk of deportation and the demand of sponsorship added to the naturally intimidating stress of finding a job in their field, many international students find the prospects disheartening. I understand the whole, like, they don't want us to steal our jobs, but at the same time we got our educations here, so it's like, I have the same education than a U.S. citizen, so why can't I apply to the same jobs? Over 10% of Lindenwood students are international. Most have been living in the U.S. for at least four years when they graduate. Tonight.